All right, guys, today is tomorrow. We are back. We are back. That's we right. are back. And here is the poor 15. <laughs> Here's what I was talking about. Those cheap bristles. They are stuck. But yeah, this came out great. No more rust. This should last a very long time. So, now, I'm going to ugh, change out these battery terminals. Put the battery tray back in. And, new battery. <laughs> we bought our first part for ZJ. It is not a free Z anymore. Very, very sad. But, that's to be expected. So, let's get going. You know what, before I do these terminals, I'm gonna try to pick off that tape I used to protect the threads that I just tapped. I'm gonna go with a screwdriver, see how that plays out. Oh, easy peasy. All right, so I'm gonna replace these crappy old grody terminals with uh, these. These are toolless terminals. I like these. These are on Black Beauty. I don't need to mess with any tools to get them off. No half inch, 11 millimeter, what have you. Um, so what happens is <laughs> this is lead and it ends up shredding anyway. So you don't need tools for this. It's this great. I love them. So I'm going to get them on. i um, going to cut them off and I'm going to use these post connectors and I'm just going to solder them in so let's do it all right i'm just pulling these wire connectors wire protectors back and uh gonna give myself some room and then i'm gonna make my cuts all right so i'm gonna use one of my favorite tools to make the cuts. These are my old school crimpers and the tips are still sharp after like 70 years. So making the cuts and bye bye. All right, so I'm just gonna measure up how much insulation I need to strip off. And I'm just gonna use the sharp side of my wire strippers. Just spin it around a couple times till I can remove the insulation that I don't need. Nice and almost even. All right, so the game plan is we're gonna flux up these uh, these wires here. Got my terminal post and a vice grip. Gonna heat it with a torch. <laughs> I think the torch is my favorite tool. <laughs> All right. Gonna heat that with the torch and pour some solder in it. When it's about halfway full of solder, I'm just gonna plug this in. Let's see if it works. It's easier to do this on a bench, but you know, the wires are attached to the Jeep, so what are you gonna do? Improvise. <laughs> All right, I should be on there. <sighs> Excellent. All right, take two.
All right, I'm just gonna do this two more times for the positive side. All right, gonna put some heat shrink tubing over my connections. This stuff is so much fun. <laughs> I'm just going to clean up these wires with some color matching tape <laughs> or something like that. Or something like that. Color matching tape. Oh, that's right. Sure, whatever. All right. Looking good. Just gonna check over this wire harness. Uh, make sure there's nothing else I need to tape up in here before I put it all back together. And this looks like crap too. I'm gonna hook up these plugs again. And we're gonna layer in. All right. Just gonna wiggle this tray back down where it's supposed to go. Gonna line up all the holes. And gonna take my fastener, hand thread it a little bit. <laughs> and it's very exciting. I get to use my new fastener and my brand new threads. All right. Picture me rolling. Picture me rolling. Picture me rolling. Picture me rolling. And finally, the bolt that started it all. All right, and now here comes the battery. So what I will be installing for you today is an Optima Red Top 12 volt battery. It is a model of 35. I don't know why it says 25. Maybe it's a model 25. <laughs> this model weighs 35 pounds. It is a little smaller than the stock battery, but if you snug up your tie downs, you shouldn't have any problems with it moving on you. And let's see, this battery has 910 cranking amps. It has 720 cold cranking amps. It has 44 amp hours and a 90 minute reserve capacity. Now these batteries are supposed to last up to three times longer than your average battery. They come with a three year free full replacement warranty. And because I bought it online, I got an instant 20% discount. And the terminal. Loosen them up, pop it on, and these go on so nice. Hand tighten them, and crank it back. Beautiful. All right, we're just gonna secure this battery, and we're done. guys that's gonna do it for this battery tray engine compartment battery replacement overhaul video <laughs> so I uh, appreciate you watching hope you enjoyed it one other thing before I let you go the days of walking into an auto parts store and buying what you need are over there is so many discounts online you just got to search for that discount code they even give you one just by logging on so uh, order this online at your local parts store 
you get your discount, then you walk in the door, you pick it up. It doesn't take you any more time, but you save a whole bunch of money. So that's it. It's going to do it for this. General Grievous is getting back to good condition. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks for watching again. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next project.